wide as he intended to hit it, but... The cue for... I think back to you know, Alex Eight. Higgins era, there was all kinds of... He deserves to be on one. I think he's all... 20. from your opponent's shot anyway. I think it's meant to be a mark of access to Nine. the black and he hasn't freed the pink spot either. Frames. Seventeen. With what he's been producing in the three rounds to get this far one stage forward. and feeling cross about things. Yeah. At the end of this frame, then they will have turned. Bad session. Bad night of the office. 39. But he's really knuckled down since then, I think. ...has been throughout his career a real bully once he gets in front, but he's not too shabby from behind either, is he, as he's with his safety play, punishing O'Sullivan for any errors he made. I don't think he would have entertained thoughts of trailing at the end of the... ...giving execute this shot perfectly. Moving the red. Well, he certainly played it in... Ronnie O'Sullivan, 55. Well, again, we've done... So we're back into tight frame territory again, and this is where... ...running out of position. Yeah, that was a good contact, although, where's the red going to end up here? Not... Right in the middle. So another little twist. And was looking much the stronger player. Eight. the tight frames over the course of a 33 frame match are going to be absolutely instrumental to determine 15. who comes through and at the moment 20 Mark Selby I think lost to make it four on the bounce beginning to play some sublime snooker but that run arrested by a combination of a bit of bad luck positionally and Higgins is the last of the session created by that beautiful bit of queuing just now seven to emerge belt this 15 well that was a bit of an iffy table but he's never publicly made a fuss about tables he's just got on with it I don't think it's a bad thing. It, there was a time when... Ronnie O'Sullivan. Any frustrations that he would have shown. It's worth saying that the table fitters do a tremendous job, and it's a very challenging one here, the Crucible. But it's all part of the challenge.
an escape route. One. Well, there's all the brilliance that we know about. Eight. Yes, he'll show his frustration, but his patience has been tested. But he can still emerge. Ask for anything to be clean, regardless of a kick. And of course, he is one of the stuff which has, uh, if not eradicated kicks, then certainly dramatic. Twenty-one. It's another garage. Difference win. Twenty-seven. Well, mercifully, it's all concerned. Yes, it's looking all by that in the grand scheme of these two playing each other. It's just I think it looks a pretty fair scoreline to me. And in particular from losing those three to half of the interval. Could have been even better for him. He not lost position at the back end of the previous frame. Higgins clearly key balls in those early frames, and indeed in the seventh to move back. We're going to end up where we started, level pegging. The second semi-final. Sullivan. He's already won more matches at the Crucible than anyone else. He's tied Steve Davis. The record number of world championships. But for how long? 75. 82. 80. 89. Challenges, whatever frustrations Ronnie O'Sullivan has been 90. feeling this evening, set this semi-final up perfectly for the second of the tournament.